Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video and I'm really excited for this video. I know it might not be my usual like home decor, home styling, home shopping content, but I'm really, really excited because today's video is all about the wedding, wedding chat, wedding updates. I'm going to be showing you some wedding bits that I've bought recently and my wedding shoes that I got a few weeks ago and we're just about to go out suit shopping for Jake actually. So we're a bit late, so I actually need to go. I just need to hurry up with this intro and I will take you to the shop that we're going to. We're going to Amelia's and yeah, it's just going to be all about wedding. I popped a Q&A on my Instagram last week, I think it was asking you guys if you have any wedding questions and lots of you asked some really good questions so I'm going to answer those today as well. I'm going to show you my invites and just have a cute little wedding video so I know it's not for everyone and if you're not like a bride to be or you're not getting married or you're not really interested in wedding stuff then this video might not be for you but I still wanted to make it because I am a very very excited bride to be and yeah for all you bride to be girlies hopefully you enjoy this video it's a lovely crisp autumnal day lows of zero degrees alexa said which i love even though it's cold i, lo I love just being like cozy and wrapping up and stuff so i've got this lovely like oatmeal knit on from asos black necklace from etsy little black skater skirt from asos as well which i've just checked is actually sold out now which is a shame and then my new look boots and we'll be back and I've made Jake match with me. He is going neutral vibes as well. Do you want to show your outfit, Jake? Outfit of the day? Where's your t-shirt from? Boss. <laughs> we're going neutral vibes. Jake's got his loafers in a bag because we're just not sure what sort of suit to go for with Jake. Because we like black, black's classic, and it'll match with the bridesmaids really nicely as well. I've not actually told you what colour the bridesmaids are, and They're I don't... They're black. <laughs> no, they're not wearing black, although I do really like black bridesmaids. Like, I feel like that looks really classy as well. But I'm not sure I'm going to give away the bridesmaid colour. I don't know. I might keep it a surprise. But then we also, well, I say we, I also like, like, neutral kind of colour as well. So we'll see. We're going to go today, try on a few different colours, and see what Jake likes. So we're here in Clitheroe, I'm feeling very autumnal with the autumn leaves. I just love this time of year. Look at this spooky window, I love it. Here it is, oh, look at those dresses. <laughs> and we've got some suits in the window, any that you like? <laughs> so we're upstairs in Amelia's. In the menswear section. There's tons to choose from. Excited! <laughs> so they've got a really good range. We've just spoken with the lady and she's like gone through all the different styles and stuff that we can have. I, I, I do actually quite like the beige and the black and Jake does as well. We're gonna try like an all black one I think. Ooh. All about you today. <laughs> Makes a change. <laughs> So we've just finished suit shopping now and we've come to this little farm shop which is on the way home. It's called Huntley's, it's like a farm shop and a restaurant so we're going to have a little bite to eat, have a little browse and then I'm going to go home and go through all of the new wedding updates with you all. Oh, look at those little bunnies. Me like piglets. Bunny. We miss them. hot chocolate in the world look at that look at that compared to my hand I can't wait to drink that and I've gone for a roast pork sandwich with gravy chunky chips Jake's got a lovely little cheese sandwich because <laughs> we did order cauliflower and curry soup but they ran out so you've just got a cheese sandwich instead but this looks delicious so I'm back 
from suit shopping back from our little cafe date. I'm still in the same jumper but I've changed into my leggings and slippers for ultimate cosy vibes because it is definitely, I mean it is definitely autumn now but there is such a chill in the air now. So I thought that I would show you the wedding shoes. <laughs> The wedding shoes and the invites, the invites and the evening invites and then I've got some like other bits to show you which I showed in a video ages ago but I didn't have many subscribers when I showed them so I thought I'd just show them again now. Sunshine, come on it's autumn now, why is the sun shining through? So inside this bag are my wedding shoes. I'm going to show you them on YouTube first and then I've got an Instagram reel coming soon as well. But YouTube subscribers, you get to see them first, so feel lucky everybody. But what I'm gonna do, so as you can see, this says the Isle Edit and the Isle Edit is a gorgeous shop near Manchester. It's it's in like a church, it's a converted church. It's pink, there's like stained glass windows, all pastel vibes, it's absolutely gorgeous. And they very kindly invited me down for this party, this like launch party that they were having. And so I went along to the party with my mum and sister. I'm gonna insert the footage in the minute, that's what I'm getting to. So I went along to this party and Charlotte Mills, who the shoes are from, is located in the aisle edit. But any brides-to-be, it is such a good, shop to go to it's such a good girly day out they do afternoon tea there or pink vibes downstairs was like accessories and little handbags and headbands and things middle floor was bridesmaids mother of the bride mother of the groom shoes and then the cafe afternoon tea and then upstairs was wedding dresses and like venue stylists like flowers so it's literally everything to do with weddings in one shop and it was also lovely and pink and aesthetic vibes so what i'm going to do is insert the footage now after me speaking now, I'm going to insert the footage of our day out at the aisle edit and you will get a little sneak peek of the shoes on that footage and then I'm going to do the unboxing and show you the shoes like up close. So I'm going to insert that footage now. Birthday treats. <laughs> We're just at the aisle edit for afternoon tea. Everything is pink, everything is so cute, <laughs> and you. they're literally playing Taylor Swift. What's that teapot? <laughs> Ooh la la! <laughs> I've got to have that teapot. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
it is such a gorgeous day out all pink all aesthetic and they were literally playing taylor swift all taylor swift songs when we walked in and i am taylor swift super fan i am obsessed so that was literally the icing on the cake but let me unbox the shoes and show you all up close because they are just the most perfect wedding shoe in the entire world so they come in this really cute blue box which i think is cute because it's kind of like your something blue i don't know it's quite cute and i got a size two which is the smallest size that they do and I, I did try the three on like i am a three in some shoes but especially like strappy shoes my feet are so narrow like i think something's wrong with them they're just so small and so narrow they just were a bit gapy on me when i tried the three on so i went with the two and they are literally the perfect fit and the lady at charlotte mills did say you might have to size down so it might just be like a normal thing to size down so here they are here's the box isn't the box such a gorgeous color and then you get all of these little cards so soul mate s-o-l-e <laughs> and then it just says like tag tag us on instagram and stuff and then got a little envelope with charlotte mills on the front Let's see what this is something borrowed this envelope is your something borrowed we would love for you to send it back to us with a photo of your wedding day for us to share on the website cute and then this is like a little card that says please read before you try your shoes on so it's just like talking about taking care of them and things like that and then here's a little dust bag gorgeous like white dust bag with charlotte mills printed on the front and now let's unwrap the tissue and show you the shoes i mean you will have seen them on the clip anyway but it's nice to see close-ups isn't it look at those shoes <gasps> are they not just the cutest shoes that you've ever seen like so girly and bridal and the bow the bow is giving me like jimmy choo vibes because jimmy choo have like bridal shoes like a white bridal shoe range big bows i love bows on shoes but these are just perfect and i am desperate to wear them on my hen do with like some little cute like short white dresses but I just don't want to get them ruined so I don't need to just like wear them for the picture and then take them off and get some other white shoes or to just save them for the wedding but are, are they not just the most perfect shoe in the entire world? I am obsessed so let me give you like let me get the other one out and hold them both up. Oh, aren't they cute? They remind me of Minnie Mouse, but in the best way possible. So yeah, that's both of them together. So let me just give you like a rundown of these gorgeous shoes. So firstly, these shoes are the indie shoes. So I'll pop a picture on screen, I'll pop links down below. And then as you can see on the bow, the bow is like, like tulle, like tulle material. And the polka dots, it's polka dot as well, which I just think is adorable. I love them so much and then like the rest of the shoe and the strap and everything is like leather or faux leather so yeah gorgeous and then also this is something that i really love so from charlotte mills every single pair of shoes has a silver sixpence in them like fully wedged in there like that's not coming out and it, i think it's like traditionally good luck for brides to have a silver sixpence in their shoe i don't know if it's it, i think maybe the father of the bride is meant to give it to the Rise, and then she wears it in her shoe and it's kind of like a good luck type thing I don't know but I just think it's a really cute touch that there's a silver sixpence in every pair that's a really cute feature as well I love that and then on the bottom of the shoe there's an engraved little poem so let me read it, it says something old something new something borrowed something blue and a silver sixpence in her shoe <gasps> love it so many gorgeous features like about the shoe like obviously they look so pretty as well the black like I don't know about you you probably can walk in stilettos, but I cannot very well. Like, I, I'm, I'm just like, 
tottering all over the place when I'm in stilettos so I didn't want to be worrying about that on my wedding day I wanted a block heel so they and most of in fact I think all of them from Charlotte Mills are a block heel it just must be for like the brides so like they're not worrying about stilettos and things and they do a low heel and like this sort of heel like a mid heel I always thought that was going to go for the low heel so that I wasn't like aching all day but these are honestly the comfiest things I like tried running around the shop just to like not like I'm going to be running on the wedding day but just to see like how well they <laughs> <laughs> running away running down the aisle but yeah I tried running around the shop and you know seeing if it was comfy and, and things and they just feel like my my night out shoes that I wear all the time that I can I could literally run a marathon in those shoes in fact I probably couldn't because I don't think I'd be able to run a marathon in trainers to be honest with you because I'm so unfit but you get the picture they're super comfy I think I'm gonna last all day in these but if if by the night time I decide that I need to take them off, I'm going to get some like new white converse and then I can just dance the rest of the night in the white converse. But I am just in love. What do you guys think? Are they not just the, like the cutest shoes you've ever seen in your life? They have so many styles on Charlotte Mills as well. They've got gorgeous ones with like, like um, a plain front but like a bow. Like this part is a bow which looks gorgeous but I just don't think they'd stay on my feet. They do like plain ones, they do ones with pearl bows as well. So there's loads of gorgeous styles, I'll link them down below. And I have a discount code for you to use at Charlotte Mills which is amazing. It's florally 10 as usual and that can save you 10% but when things are a little bit pricier 10% is actually a really good saving so if you are wanting some wedding shoes if you're a bridesmaid and you're wanting some shoes or even if you just want to treat yourself to some white shoes you can save 10% off at Charlotte Mills definitely go and check them out on their website because you will fall in love with a pair if not more like I found it so hard to choose because there were so many but it was these like tooly bow ones that just stood out for me because they are adorable so yeah florally 10 i'll leave it on the screen and that can save you 10 percent off at charlotte mill so all you bride to be girlies get on that because it is such a good saving but yeah that's a shoe situation and if you couldn't tell already i am obsessed and now i've got the invites to show you so i think everybody will have received their invites by now so i can show you these there'll be no surprises ruined and the the invites are perfect like I love these invites so much the person who did them for me is called Julia Eastwood again I'll link her down below and she has so many gorgeous designs on her shop and honestly you just need to go and check out her her page and her shop because literally amazing floral dream fairy tale love it and I love all the little extra details that she adds as well so yeah I really really recommend Julia I was emailing her like my ideas and she like personalizes what you want on the invites as well so she's been so so lovely to work with so yeah let me show you these invites because I am in love and she has made me a day invite and a night invite without the date of the wedding on because I don't want to give the date of the wedding away online just yet. So here they are. First of all, the envelope. Look at the envelope. It's just like a lovely quality like paper envelope, white paper envelope with this beautiful like white foliage with a little bit of green inside. How pretty is that? I just think it makes the envelope look a little bit, I don't know, more elegant. And then here are the invites. It's kind of like a, like an open, door type invite and so they came all like this they didn't come with the string wrapped rounds or the little tag so I had to do all this myself like individually but it was really fun to do and like I, I wrote everybody's name on here in like really nice writing so you kind of shimmy it down like this aren't they just so pretty like so rustic and like country country modern kind of invites you don't know, think like kind of matching with the house and like my kind of theme and then you open it up like this and then you've still got all that beautiful foliage around the bottom and then it's all over the back as well so yeah there it is beautiful font so it says chessie and jake are delighted to invite and then it's blank there but on everyone else's invite it was typed like their name so she typed all their names to join them on their wedding day april 2024 so it is in april 
<laughs> obviously but i'm just not going to share the date yet until like closer to the time or whatever it's at colshaw hall which is where we're getting married which is the dreamiest venue in the world i i'm so excited to be getting married at colshaw hall and we're getting married at two o'clock and then at the bottom it says carriages at 12 30. i'm going to do like some close-ups apart from me speaking because i know like me going like this <laughs> is not the easiest way to see the invites and then it just has like little bits down the side about the venue taxis for people and then like gifts like it's always awkward like talking about gifts on the invite isn't it so like julia had like a little poem to like put it in a nice way because you do need to pop something on about gifts and then it just says like rsvp and stuff but they're, they're just so pretty we've had so many compliments on them like saying that they were the prettiest invites they've ever received which is such a compliment and just saying that they were just like lovely and white and classic and neutral and just like so pretty so i was really really happy with them and i couldn't praise julia more for making our vision come to life. I think on the website, these ones are called the Whimsical Windsor style. And they are very whimsical. That's a really good word for it, isn't it? They are very whimsical and pretty. And then the night invites, they're kind of just the same with the foliage at the top. These are just like a plain card, really gorgeous, like textured paper, double-sided. And it just says again, Chessie and Jake are delighted to invite blank to their evening wedding celebrations, April, 2024. So yeah, what do you guys think? I just think they're so lovely and so my vibe and fit the aesthetic of the wedding so nicely. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with those. Big thank you to Juliet for working with me on these beautiful invites. And then just before we do the q and I thought I'd just reshare these little bits that I got from Papi, Papier or papier, never know how to, how to pronounce it, but it's like the stationery wedding shop. Well, it's like a stationery shop, but they do like a wedding section. So these, let me turn the brightness down yet again. So these are like little table settings with gypsy feela on. They're just like plain gypsy feela. So it's like these little place cards, kind of like that. And what I'm gonna do actually, instead of me writing them on, you could get the option to like pa papier would print them on, but it was more money. But my friend Mel, my best friend Mel does, calligraphy and she's really good at stuff like that so I'm, I'm gonna ask her really nicely if she'll do these for me and write everyone's names on really nicely in like black ink and then on the back I'm just gonna cover the number but it says Chessie and Jake April 2024 and I completely forgot that it said that actually so it'll be that on the front someone's name and then that on the back which is just a cute little touch so they're from Papier and on the Papier website it's called Baby's Breath collection baby's breath is like another word for gypsy feeler isn't it and then i've also got these table numbers so it says welcome to your table and then like i think i've done numbers one to twelve and then at the bottom again it says chess chessie and jake 84 2024 and i just thought they were nice and cute and simple just like black and white and with that little bit of like gypsy feeler on there as well it'll just match the wedding flowers because i'm having gypsy feeler in the wedding flowers too so i want i want the focus to be on the flowers rather than the table sign so i just thought they were nice and cute and understated so yeah really love those from papier too and then lastly in the same sort of baby's breath design all all part of the same collection we've got the guest book and i love this i'm sorry i'm just covering the date as well there i love this like floral like hoop all around it says I think, what does it say? The get, oh yeah, the guest book of Chessie and Jake, and then it says April 2024. And then on the back, you've got a gypsy feeler again, and you've got a lyric from our first dance song that we're going to have, which is we like one of our favorite songs, both of, both of us, we really love this song. And I just think it's perfect for like, us and our relationship and everything and it's like a it's like a bop it's not a slow one or anything it's like a bop like a really good tune so yeah all will be revealed new at the time some people know some people don't know so i'm going to keep it a secret but yeah it's a really really good song so that's everything that i've got to physically show you i really hope you enjoyed seeing all of the wedding bits the shoes and the invites and the little table bits so now i'm going to go on to instagram and answer the Q&A questions. I've never done a Q&A so this is quite exciting for me actually. So the first question is are there any traditions that you won't be following? I wouldn't say that there's any traditions that were like no we're not having that but I don't know it's hard. I, I, I would say that we're kind of having like a traditional wedding like big white wedding if you know what I mean. We're not having like a big wedding cake. I don't I don't really want like a big wedding cake. I thought I did at, at the start, but I've gotten the idea of my head now. I want like a small, like kind of vintagey style wedding cake. I don't know if you've seen the type with like icing around the top and stuff. I feel like maybe heart shaped with like just married on the front or something like that. Something like really cute and 
I don't know, small, not really having like a big cake like that. There is one tradition actually, so traditionally guests aren't meant to wear white, but if you were a guest, I am saying if you want to wear white, you can wear white, I'm not bothered. I would rather someone come in like cream, white, really like light neutral than like bright red or bright purple or something. I Like I want the whole theme of the day to be like white and neutral and like you know what I mean so I that's I guess that's kind of like a tradition that we will be following like I don't mind if people turn up in white I really want to do like a champagne tower I think that would be really cool other than that I don't think there's anything that we're not not doing if that makes sense speeches like I know speeches are quite traditional and we don't really want like long speeches at all like a, I don't want speeches to go on forever and ever and ever like five minute speech tops you know and then we can get back to like having a dance and having a party and stuff so yeah I guess that's kind of like a traditional thing that we're not doing like we're not having big long speeches but yeah other than that I wouldn't say there's anything that like stands out so the next question is how did you choose your theme and it is really hard to choose a theme like it's same with the house like when we first moved into this house I was like trying to make decisions and it's so overwhelming because it's such a big decision isn't it like your house same with your wedding day like you've only got one wedding day usually so I was like well hopefully we will just have one wedding day <laughs> it's difficult to like make a final decision on a theme but I would just say get on YouTube I watched so many random people's weddings I would say that is the thing that helped me the most choose a theme so like first of all I, we found the venue and like I shopped around for like venues and we looked around and stuff and fell in love with this one it was the second one we went to and it was just gorgeous which is Colshaw Hall and then what I did was I watched so many YouTube vlog weddings, you know like when the videographer uploads the video to YouTube, I watched so many weddings of Culture Hall weddings on YouTube and that really helped me decide on a theme because I could see like the decor in the venue that I'd chosen, if that makes sense. So yeah, that really helped me looking on YouTube, look on Pinterest, Pinterest has the best pictures, I don't know how, like better than Instagram, if you're scrolling through Instagram trying to find inspo, you can never find as much inspo as you can on Pinterest. So look on Pinterest, look on YouTube, look on TikTok, they've all got like such good ideas. Look on like wedding venue stylist Instagrams as well because they style up weddings like every day of the year and you'll just start to see yourself like gravitating towards a certain theme. So that's how I kind of chose a the theme, I don't know if that's helpful or not, but basically social media is your best friend. Like we went to a wedding fair and it was fun, like a good experience, but like I felt like I didn't really gain anything from the wedding fair as opposed to what I would just see on my phone, like you can save like pictures, you can screenshot things, I just feel, I feel like it's easier to like check out things on your phone. Question from mum, are you playing Buble at the wedding? Mm. Of course, mum is like a Michael Buble super fan. She's been to like loads of concerts of Michael Buble and at one of the concerts he was walking through the crowd and he grabbed onto her hand <laughs> and she loved that. So yes, Buble will be at the wedding mum, don't worry about that. Next question is, has Jake been left to his own devices organising anything cool. and they can't wait for this video, thank you. Has, have you been left to your own devices, Jake? No. No. In a, in a simple way, no. <laughs> but we did go suit shopping today and you kind of picked out something that you thought would work and we've ended up really, really liking it. And it could be like the actual option that we go for. Not gonna give too much away, but you did like kind of pull an idea together in the wedding shop, didn't you? And it does look really nice. But other than that, Jake has just let let me get on with things because... I don't have any choice. <laughs> yeah, well, he would. If he, like, said, oh, I'm not sure about that, I wouldn't be like, no, we're having it. Do you know what I mean? Like, we'd obviously speak about it and then he'd realise that I was making the right decision. <laughs> Trust you to pick good things. Yeah, exactly. See, you heard it from the horse's mouth. He trusts me to pick good things. Jake is like the most laid back person in the world. If you couldn't tell, like when you've seen him on my videos, he's just like so easygoing and laid back. So it kind of is up to me to make all the arrangements. <laughs> Someone's put here, I'm sure everyone would love to know about the table decor and what you're planning. So like I just mentioned, the table decor down there, as you can see, it's all white. Table decor, basically, I just want like flowers everywhere long story short I want flowers everywhere I really love the idea of like little bud vases with like different types of like white flowers in like I really love that that look kind of like vintage like aesthetic kind of vibe yeah I just want pretty flowers everywhere like everywhere people look I want there to be flowers I want there to be flowers in the toilets I want there to be flowers like 
literally everywhere floral overload kind of like Josie's wedding you know Josie fashion mumbler but hers was like more colorful and a lot more greenery I want it to be like that but just white 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 flowers everywhere this is a nice question someone's asked what part of the day are you looking forward to most and honestly I'm just looking forward to the whole thing like I'm looking forward to like waking up on the wedding day and just be like oh it's my wedding day you know like when you're a child and you wake up and it's Christmas and you're like you're so excited and you've got butterflies and like getting ready with the girls in the morning and my mom and Jake's mom I just can't raise can't wait to like get ready and like have champagne and stuff like that'll be really exciting and then I'm so nervous to walk down the aisle but also so excited as well like to see Jake at the bottom of the aisle and to see all the guests like stood there and then like the party, obviously the party, we've got so many fun things planned for the, like the party afterwards, like in the night. So yeah, I just, I just, I just can't wait for the whole day. I can't, I can't pick a part of the day that I'm most looking forward to, but I'm guessing like walking down the aisle with my dad and then seeing Jake at the end. Ah, I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm crying now just talking about it. What will I be like on the day? Oh my goodness. I need to compose myself. <laughs> Do you think you'll cry on the day? I think I'll be crying more than you. Do you? See, I don't, I do not want to ruin the makeup that I've just spent a lot of money on, <laughs> the bridal makeup. So I'm going to have to be like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> Someone said, how are you deciding on your tablescape? It's killing me. So you must be a bride to be as well. Congratulations. It is, like I said before, it is like hard work. Well, not hard work. It's not hard work, is it? It's just like overwhelming and you just want to make the right decision. But like I said before, get on TikTok, get on YouTube, get on Pinterest, screenshot any that you love watch wedding vlogs watching wedding vlogs on youtube was the best thing for me because like the videographers like get it get it like video it all like really aesthetically you can really get a vibe for what sort of like tablescape you want so the next question is what flowers are you having so basically just having all white flowers i really love gypsophila i might even have my bridesmaids holding gypsophila like gypsophila little what are they called flower crowns for the flower girls i love roses i love peonies i love like little like vintage white flowers. I just want like a mixture of like white flowers everywhere. Blossom, cherry blossom, white cherry blossom. So yeah, white, 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 white everything. Next question is what have you enjoyed about wedding planning? And I honestly have enjoyed it all. Like I love planning. I love like making all my ideas come to life. I really enjoyed like planning the flowers and stuff because I, you know, florally, obviously florally home. So I love all things Floor. So I really loved picking the flowers, loved the dress shopping and the bridesmaid dress shopping even though it was like stressful like trying to please everybody and stuff like with the bridesmaid dresses but I was, I honestly just loved, loved it all, loved the suit shopping today, seeing Jake in all the suits. I've just really enjoyed every step of the way apart from the finances obviously. So the next question says what are you doing for your hen do and honestly I have no idea. Idea. I'm leaving it all to my sister, Danny, maid of honour, who is literally chief planner. I've said to her, you need to quit teaching because she's a teacher as well. She teaches in year two. You need to quit teaching and become a planner, a wedding planner, a holiday planner. When we went to Paris last year, she planned the whole thing and it was such an amazing trip. And she like, well, she's just, she just plans everything to the minute and always thinks of really good ideas. And my friends, like everyone has said how excited they are for the hen do. All my friends have said that the hen do is me as a hen do. So I don't know what that means. I don't know, I'm just, I'm so excited for it. I know that Danny will have planned such a good hen do. We've got like all my friends coming and like family. I think there's like 17, 18 of us going. So I'm really excited. It's in Feb half term and yeah, there's gonna be a hen do vlog by the way. And I'm guessing Helena, Rach and Becca who also, who also do YouTube will be vlogging it as well. So you'll be able to see it from all angles. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the hen do. I also can't wait for that. Like, I can't wait for the wedding, but I'm, I'm so excited for the hen do, like a good girl's trip. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. I'm so excited. Someone said, how many bridesmaids are you having and are you having any page boys too? So I'm having four adult bridesmaids. My sister, my sister-in-law, which is my brother's wife, Mel and Imo, two best friends. And then I'm having two flower girls, so like six girls in total. My brother's girls, Laura and Liam's girls, Sophia and Orla, so they're my two nieces, can't wait for the flower girl dress, it's going to be so cute. And then we're having one page boy, which is my sister's little boy, Sebby, and he's just going to look so adorable in a little suit as well. I said to the 
to the lady at the shop today that we need like a little baby suit although he is four but he's like he's like the little baby of the family so that'll be cute and then my sister's also got another little boy Finn who's 13 so I guess he's not really a page boy plus he's tall he's like taller than Jake he's so tall takes after his dad so he'll be more of like a groomsman usher type and then Jake's having quite a lot of groomsmen I think he's got like nine nine or nine or ten obviously more popular than i am <laughs> so rach has asked how many dresses did you try on before you found the one so i think it was about maybe like six or seven maybe eight and then when i did find the one like i was in love with it in the shop i got it from lulu's in um in clitheroe and i just loved it so much it was so my style it was like everything i wanted like some brides get the dress and it's like nothing like they imagined whereas this dress that i picked is everything that i've ever imagined and then she put the veil on and i was like this is the one like this is the dress and then like i teared up a little bit and i never thought that i would be one to cry but i did so yeah i tried on maybe like six seven eight dresses quite a few before i found the perfect one you're having a veil obviously i'm having a veil i don't know some people don't every bride has a veil so someone's asked which dress designer did i go for and i've gone for enzoni so the dress is designed by enzoni and that's all i'm gonna say because jake is literally sat on the couch there plus i don't want to give everything away on youtube before the wedding but yeah it's enzoni and enzoni dresses are stunning next question did you and jake agree on guest numbers and certain guests so yeah it was really easy to kind of do the guest list wasn't it we maybe you should have been here with me like doing the q a <laughs> but it was it was quite easy to decide on guests wasn't it like we both had the same ideas on who to invite for the day and who maybe would be invited to just night you know like it is it's it's difficult and it can be awkward like deciding who who goes where and you don't want to like offend anybody or upset anybody but i think we've made good choices on, on who's coming to the day and who's coming to the night. I think we've got maybe nearly 80 people in the day and then maybe like 130 at night, possibly, if everyone comes to the night do. So not like a really, really big wedding, but quite a, quite a good size wedding. Good enough for a really good party. Someone's asked, did we send out save the dates? Yes, we did. We sent out save the dates at the beginning of this year to give people like a year and a bit in advance of the wedding dates in case you needed to like book it off work or anything. Becca has said, will you be sharing the day? Of course I will be sharing the day with you all. I can't wait to make that video go live, honestly. But I'm not going to be there like vlogging like, hey guys, it's the wedding day. I'm not going to be doing like that sort of vlog. I'm going to upload the videographer's video to YouTube for you all to watch. And I am so excited to do that. I can't wait to watch a videographer video like I knew we needed a videographer because I, I just want to watch that video back again and again and again and we've got a photographer as well but the videographer has like I think she's got two cameras which is amazing because she can set like a camera up of me like walking down the aisle and then there'll be another close-up of like Jake's reaction so <laughs> it'll be like cameras everywhere I'm also going to set my phone up because I, I want like a you know like what's the word portrait phone version of me walking down the aisle as well so it's all going to be filmed you know you guys know me i literally film everything my entire life so yeah definitely definitely will be sharing the day with you all another question here is do you have a theme basically white floral fairy tale is a theme and then the last question is about table centerpieces now i didn't know if i was going to share this or not because i did want to keep it as kind of like a surprise but i feel like i'm just going to share it with you guys so i really love the idea of like blossom trees as table centers i just think it looks so whimsical and magical and like a fairy tale like a floral fairy tale which is basically what i just said the theme was and i just feel like it looks really grand and i've seen so many of that style at culture hall and it just looks so good in the room and down the aisle and stuff so i think i'm gonna go for that i could change my mind but i think i am gonna go for that and i think it's gonna look amazing so i'm gonna leave the video there everyone i feel like i've just like talked at you for ages because i've just been like talking and talking and talking about the wedding but so yeah i'm gonna leave the video there i need to get this video edited and uploaded for you for tomorrow morning morning which is today if you're watching it on sunday morning and yeah i hope you enjoyed this different style of video more of like a wedding style video i know it's not going to be for everyone and i know it probably won't do as well as my home videos but hopefully you enjoyed it all the same let me know if you have any other wedding questions or any comments or anything I'll, i'd be happy to answer them in the comments down below or over on instagram so thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you next week with a brand new video bye